It's me, Hang em High again. Uh, I wanted to show you how to install the uh, suspension forks on your uh, Baja Doodle Bug. Okay, I'm installing the Honda CRF X50. Right there they are, see? These forks right here. There's the price. There they are. Now, I'm going to show you what I did. All right, now these are the stock doodle bug forks right here, see? Now, these are what's called the trees or the yokes. And this is the uh, front where it says doodle bug on the front, and that's the fender. And you can see these don't have suspension on. <coughs> so, you can see that this is what was on this uh, Honda it's called a monkey bike, really. So you can get them on eBay, like I said, for under 50 bucks with free shipping. You can see that this was only spread that far apart, so it was going to look awkward on there. Plus, these two were just a little bit further apart. This one mounted down to here when I bolted this on the top. Okay, what I did was I bought two of these bars, nipped them, snipped them right off there chopped them right off with the guillotine the quarter inch the basic they're the same width as these right here the original ones so what I did was I also painted that with some of that red fire engine red because that's what I'll probably have to do with these forks then what I did was I had to grind this all off here on these forks cut this right like this with cut off saw see these were coming through and then I cut some of this off all the little nubs with the cutoff saw and then I was able to discard that <coughs> and this top plate is separate <coughs> and then all this stuff was on the bottom around the bottom so I took that off and polished it up a little bit on the belt sander and then I kind of like I'm going to have to paint that or chrome them but these I can paint red and you can see that. That's because they TIG welded it. That's what that's from. Where they don't waste any money on welding rods. They just meld metal to metal, to metal. So you can see these fit pretty nice. Now, how I did that was I put two center. Let me take this apart. And what I did was I drilled both of them together, bolted together. I drilled two end center pilot holes and then I marked from those two set anterior pilot holes, I marked the center hole. Which then at that time I was able to mark it exactly the same size. Which then I got up here on my uh, drill press and I drilled it. This is what I think is. Uh, inch and three-eighths, right, that's an inch and three-eighths, even though it seems close, it's still not as bad as the doodle bug trees, see, they're not even welded to the tubing on the outside, so, yeah, that's, that, that'll add some strength, and then I'm just going to cut this all off, grind it nice and smooth, so it'll just look like a band going around there, and also, you see, you're going to have to probably cut these bushings off, and these uh, stops and weld them on this uh, bottom plate too. Then after that, then you can put these on. You can get these at uh, on eBay. I got them for like ten bucks for two of them. They're used the uh, dirt bike uh, risers, you know. All right, I'll give you the first cut here. You know these don't cut so good. These Harbor Freight one third horsepower uh, tabletop drill press. That Milwaukee ice cured drill really cut. Yeah, if I had some more horsepower, I could really cut through there. Ah, what do you expect for twenty nine dollars? You know, and that thing was only ten bucks at Home Depot. Inch and three eighths. I put some of that on 
I get to cool this all up. Yeah, I don't want to get them too hot. Five bucks is a lot of money. Yeah, they make these these saw blades stronger and stronger every year. In case that's what a lot of people are wondering, if this thing really just cuts through metal. Yes, it does. Here we are. See? Cut right through that. It's no big deal. Come on, that thing can't cost you that much. Okay, there it is. It's done. All right, right there we are. I stuck, <coughs> stuck it on. See? Now what I'm saying is, this is the doodle bug over here you might want to look at. See what I'm doing? I'm pulling this up. This is the doodle bug. Uh, Right. And also, my bolts are much tighter than the doodle bug. The doodle bug's a little looser. Mine are like precision now because I cut it myself. I'm telling you, it's a better job if you do it yourself. And what I'm saying is now, you can't weld that till you bolt this up on the doodle bug frame. Probably turn it upside down and weld from underneath, you know? So you don't see the welds. But you can see. Perfect. I'm telling you, it's a perfect fit. Look, from head to toe. See? I mean, that, that's the way it's done. So I don't know why I have to show you how to weld now and to trim these quarters off and all that. Because you know why? It's like March the 1st. I'm pretty sure by the time I get this all painted, by the way, don't be scared to use this stuff either when you paint this red with this here, Bondo. Just fill this, these uh, cracks in with Bondo. Or you could just get the whole thing chrome. It's up to you how you spend your money. But you know what I'm doing? I'm just going to paint these red because I tried it out here, see? Works good. <clears throat> I'll show you the paint. This stuff here, it's like a dollar and a quarter can, so yeah. It matches the doodle bug pretty close, so you don't have a sloppy job. Just take some of the Fondo with your fingers and fill in that and sand it down nice. Sand all this shiny part off so the paint sticks a little better. And, um, yeah. Then you'll have a suspension. See? Oh, yeah, and then I'll just paint the bottom here silver. Because I had to cut all this junk off here, off the bottom of that, this. I might be able to use. Let's see. We want to probably also, we'll probably want to stick this on too, right? So we want these bolts, tabs, we could cut them off with the cut off saw. Put that back on too, see? How's that? See? It looks just like the original doodle bug. Oh now for the handlebars. Okay, now the handlebars here, see? I'm gonna put this piece of bar right across it right here. And then weld it to the handlebars, and then I'm just gonna cut the handlebars off right above here. So when I'm done with this, the bar this thing won't be any good anyway. I'm gonna cut these bars off and, and use them anyway. I just like these bars. And if you look on um, eBay, these handlebars on a Harley Davidson cost $300 and they're painted black. They're not even chrome. So yeah, I'll just paint them silver again. And be wary when you buy these doodle bugs out of the box. It seems like when they're packing and one of these handlebars gets bent. You see that? Just the way they're packed like that. Every so often you'll get a handlebar that's bent. So that's how that's done there. <clears throat> 